This event was hosted by Northwest Local Land Services in conjunction with the Malls Creek Regen Ag Group, which comprises a group of landholders from the Malls Creek area just east of Narrabri. The event was supported by Southern Queensland, Northern New South Wales Innovation Hub. Malls Creek landholders had identified erosion and poor water infiltration as major concerns for the group and were looking for ways to increase their knowledge and practical ways to improve the land, sustainable farming and grazing practices. The day included a number of speakers who came to share their knowledge with the group and other interested landholders. They included Ray Thompson, a consultant who has had a long history with implementing water spreading and water ponding in Western New South Wales. Amanda Graff from Sydney University, who spoke on the landscape rehydration project at Lara at Narrabri. Craig Carter, a consultant in landscape rehydration, who has been working with the Malls Creek Group as a mentor to assist them with their understanding of landscape processes. Rob Duncan, Yarry Lake Landcare Group Chair, who spoke on water spreading and water ponding initiated by Landcare Group members around Pilliga, Guabaga and Weewal, and Anne Coote, Project Manager with Climate Friendly, who spoke on results from the carbon farming and landscape rehydration project outcomes in the Northwest region. The morning was held at the Malls Creek Hall, followed by a paddock walk in the afternoon to discuss landscape processes and look at feasible options in the paddock to improve infiltration and water retention in the soil. The day was attended by around 40 landholders from across the Northwest region, with all finding it a very informative day and a great way to link up with people. Landholders from the Malls Creek Regen Ag Group were thrilled to be able to host the day and enjoyed the opportunity to learn more. It has given them confidence moving forward, having met some new people. Hi, I'm Craig Carter from Parawina, down at the foothills of Liverpool Ranges. And field days like this are really, really worthwhile. No matter even if you think you know something about the topic under discussion, there's always something to be learned. So, you know, they're well worthwhile. And then there's always the networking opportunities as well. You get to meet lots of new people, which is always a good thing. Ray Thompson. Uh here today to just discuss some water ponding, water spreading, show what we've been doing out west and uh, over quite a few years and um, how we've developed uh, the water ponding and water spreading to now sort of a, an item that anybody can pick up on those duplex soils or the red soils. Days like uh, field day today is uh, huge importance to just get the message out what they could do in different soil types. Uh, Wayne Chaffee, I uh, have, have a farm at Summerton. Uh, I think the, the, the great um, advantage of seeing what's happening here is just building that knowledge base about how best to keep water on property in all different environments. So we've seen examples of ponding and water spreading uh, and exact, the, the spreading is exactly what we've got to do on our landscape. We've got traditional uh, contour banks and waterways to get the water off the landscape. We need to now go in and change those around so that we capture that water, spread it across the landscape, allow it to trickle out at a much slower pace. Um, my name's Alastair Donaldson. I'm from west of Bogabri. Um, I've just always been interested in rehydrating landscapes and I've been actively involved in designing earthworks in the past and it was interesting to see the, uh, the ponding concepts and um, and other yeah water management techniques in the landscape so yeah I was, I was really interested in that it was quite good obviously networking amongst like-minded people it's really good fun I'm Ali Big I'm from Northern Slopes Landcare based in Bingara and yeah I came along today just to learn as much as I could to take back to farmers and landholders that I work with in in my region um, it, this stuff's really important and we have a groundswell of people getting into Regen Ag uh, and rehydration and often not really knowing where to take that first step or how to take that first step. So any information I can garner and, and take back and also get ideas for days like this that I might be able to run myself uh, more over in our, in our patch.